Well, the Yiddish theater was truly an international theater, and Yiddish actors were often more sophisticated than, you know, American actors who had grown up just in the American theater. And in fact, the vast majority of Yiddish actors were not born in America. So they had more of a sense of what was happening all over the world. Uh, so they started in Bucharest and, you know, they would travel around Eastern Europe because, you know, you have to, you want to keep the one play going and make as much money as you can. Lubit remembers going and performing in uh, small towns where people didn't have money and would bring a chicken to the box office or being in a being carried over mud because there was they were performing in places that had no entertainment or even had no roads and you know they would go wherever the people were and then they were brought to America by Maury Schwartz and then the Buenos Aires season was the opposite of the American season so during the American summer when the Yiddish theater wouldn't have main stage shows it would just people would go to the Catskills or they would do cabaret type shows they would get a contract to go to Buenos Aires and perform there um, see more sometimes actors would perform in Mexico or Uganda they would make European tours Western Europe you know London Ireland France uh, there was Yiddish theater in South America you, you would get contracts and it was a world that communicated and there was, as you know, so much publishing in the Yiddish theater, so many newspapers, so many magazines and theatrical journals that people would hear about a star or they'd hear about a play and, and they'd want to see it.